So we discussed purchasing, the basic cycle of procure to pay, and we have dif discussed different document types. We have discussed the requisitions, RFQs, quotations, catalogs, supplier items, supplier, uh, supplier item lists, supplier item catalogs. Then we have purchase orders in which we have four types of purchase orders, standard purchase order, planned blanket contract. So what are the document type? What are the purchase order type? Standard purchase order is the common one will be used whenever you go for contract or blanket or planned. So in this process, what is the first step that you follow as a part of procure to pay? Let me open the application. Sorry, let me open the Excel sheet. Okay, if I say, <coughs> let me put serial number, then step stage. Okay, let us say stage. Uh, okay, you can say process. Okay, process name. Let me put the figure headings like this process name. Then we have debit and we have credit. Now, let us see. <coughs> Okay. Let us see here. We have this is the file I want to highlight. See, we are going to have transactions, different transactions. Okay. As a part of procure to pay, we have the first transaction has requisition, right? We have requisition. That is what purchase requisition. I would say purchase requisition. Then the requisition will be approved. Then we go for request for quotation. Then quotation, whatever it may be. Let us say RFQ. Let me enter all the documentation what we discussed. Okay, quotation. We have quotation then then you are going for purchase order then you are making a receipt then you are going for receiving transaction then invoice now we know whenever you go for purchasing you are dealing with supply Tata Motor is the company we have taken the example which is using this application. Now a buyer buys the product but buyer confirms confirms the buying from the supplier by getting the requisition info first. First we have to create a requisition has been approved but have you observed while creating requisition What is related to accounting? What is your concern related to accounting? Have you observed while creating requisition? Something have you observed related to accounting? What you have done? If you remember, we prepared the requisition, header information, then lines, item, quantity, price, required by date, need by date, or promised date, whatever it may be. Then we go for distributions right when you go for distributions in the distributions what is the one 
the one thing which is mandatory for approving the requisition what is the mandatory thing that is distribution account what is distribution account that is charge account we call it as charge account or destination account or expense account how this account is getting defaulted have you observed like if you go to purchasing we have items we have organization items let me open the file so let me take let me take any item let us take this item okay now go to the application organization item for which organization let me take as any item any organization let me take booster okay this is the item find any item we have master item and organization item you should remember what is master item and organization item i told you master item, master item where you define every item in the system every item has to be defined that is the first one that is master item but the same master item will not be accessible by every company every company means every branch so that means every branch means inventory organization that is nothing but warehouse so what are the warehouse is having transactions related to this item only that organization should have the access for this item how we are giving the access accessibility to this item to this organization simply item we have we are there in the organization item it is meant for this is w o this is the organization core we have now we have the item we have all the attributes right some of the attributes are disabled why because these are controlled at master and only you can update from master item so you cannot update organization item you cannot update master item attributes master attributes master level attributes from organization level see if you see a display attributes master organization all so this is organization we have opened organization item if you if you would have opened master organi master item then definitely you can see all the attributes are enabled but this is one more entry question can you enable or disable attributes at any point of time it's very important question if i want to update some attribute some attribute means all not all the attributes some of the attributes can be updatable can be updatable you know can be updated at any point of time but some of the attributes like status attributes how many attributes are there status attributes we have 10 earlier it was 8 if you see stockable cost enabled purchasable customer ordered enabled internal ordered enabled enabled invoice enabled bomb allowed process execution enabled process costing enabled all these are transactable built in WIP okay Invisible internal order internal ordered. Okay, so we have these are the attributes very important. We call it as status attributes. We have around 10 So whenever you want to update these status attributes Apart from that some more attributes are also there how many attributes are there while defining the item we have around 300 attributes are there and you want to update any attribute after defining the item and you use some some for some days the item has been used for as a part of transactions you raise the requisition you raise the purchase order you receive the item you maintain the stock and you create a sales order you created work orders all these things everything has been done now you want to change the attribute in the item it's not that much simple to add to update the attribute why because you might be having some open transactions what is open transaction you might have created a purchase order it is ready for receiving supplier might have sent the goods and it is in transit 
and you are about to receive those items. When you are about to receive the items, so that is called in transit. In transit items mean it is on the way. You have not yet received, but it is in the way, it is on the way so that you are about to receive the item that is called in transit. Okay. So when you have open transactions, open purchase orders, or open anything like sales order or discrete job for certain item. For this item only you have all these things, let us say. It time it is it, this is the item sometimes it's manufactured sometimes it's purchased item let us say both 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 the kind of items now i have to change the attribute means i have to change the characteristic of item can you change the item characteristic at any point of time you cannot change why because there is on hand quantity there is open transaction that means with the same at set attribute means is the same characteristic it's already in the order you are about to purchase you are about to purchase and with the same characteristics you are about to purchase how can you change all of a sudden when you have some open transactions when you are nothing you know when you are not having anything then you are open to update so that is the reason if you have on hand quantity then you cannot update the attributes or you have open transactions even then you cannot update the attributes so to Update the attribute. You should have on hand quantity zero and there are no open transactions. This is very important question. What is the procedure in case you want to update the attribute because the item has been defined wrongly. Some of the attributes are disabled. Some of the attributes are enabled, but wrong att attributes are enabled. Wrong attributes are disabled. Required attributes are disabled. Wrong attributes are enabled. So how can you update the item master or organization item attributes to be changed? How can you change it? You have to make sure in that particular organization you have no on hand quantity or no open transactions within that particular organization. For that you have to find what are the open transactions you have to clear first. You have to cancel and make sure what are the quantity is there you just issue out. How to issue some somebody rises move order issue because you are entering the reason because it is it's for the purpose of attribute attributes update so i'm going to issue out by giving an account at the same time after updating the attributes after disabling or enabling the attributes okay and then you save the record and with that characteristic you have to receive a, again the item by using the same account why are you giving while issuing and while taking the item into the store why are you giving the account number now tell me you are issuing the item today's class is for accounting so you should be thorough with accounting what was the transaction your transaction it is very simple your transaction action is sometimes you are receiving sometimes you are issuing means item is going out or item is coming inside that's it if Tata Motor is having warehouse sometimes we are receiving into the warehouse or the same item from the same warehouse it is going out when you are selling when you are purchasing or you are when you are making you are coming you are getting the item into the inside when you are selling item is going out of the warehouse through sales order when you are receiving either through manufacturing job or if it is purchased item through purchase order you are receiving the item but your transaction action is very important question again what is transaction action transaction action is very simple either you give it or take it only two types giving means you are reducing the quantity taking means you are increasing the quantity your whether you are increasing or decreasing the effect is going to inventory so one effect if i say if you go to this excel if i say when i issue when i receive okay issue means item is getting item quantity is getting decreased from inventory right so debit means what in oracle i indicate as plus credit means what negative Okay, 
what is debit what is credit it's very simple debit means from our oracle point of view it is increasing credit means decreasing it is just reverse to atm transaction what is atm transaction if you go to atm the moment you put the debit card or credit card and you take out some amount from the bank you are getting a message let us say your salary has been credited credited to your account right that is from bank bank point of view from your point of view it is debit it is just a river a reverse why because we are discussing the application application will be used by first person so for the first person like i have to say it is just reverse to it is keep in mind it's thumb rule atm transaction you remember whenever you are getting the salary it is getting credited when they the bank deposits the deposits the salary to your account salary got credited right so just oracle is debited just reverse now it is normal it is the names or uh, naming convention like followed by oracle so issue means item is going out means item is going out means there is a negative value going to inventory right that means you know that inventory is getting credited simple inventory is getting credited whereas when you receive definitely inventory will be increased right so definitely when you receive inventory is getting increased plus negative what about this and this i told you oracle is double entry without having the credit there is no debit with if you have debit there is a credit if you have credit there is a debit keep in mind when i have debit here when i have credit here two types of transaction when i am issuing and when i am receiving if it is credit there should be a debit what is the debit account like inventory which account is getting debited simple your account is getting money from the company's bank company's account because company is putting the salary right company is giving the salary is transferring the account that means some value is getting decreased from company account at the same time some account what of the same same value getting increased is getting increased in your account right so credit has gone to company account debit has gone to your bank account similar to that when i am crediting inventory something has to be debited similarly when i am debiting inventory something has to be credited it is simple when i receive simply you are receiving from supplier right you are receiving from supplier when you are receiving your inventory is getting increased at the same time supplying supplier amount is supplier quantity is decreased right but supplier quantity we are not maintaining but you are tracking something related to supplier what is that if you receive something what is the price of that what is the quantity you received quantity multiplied by the price that much value due to what supplier so you have to maintain the supplier due in the respective account what is the value you received that much value you are going to maintain as due to what supplier similar similarly you are issuing when would you issue when you are selling the item right if you sell the item you are giving the item to somebody that means inventory is getting credited to whom you are going to customer when i am giving to customer what is that sold you sold the item right that means cost of goods sold so we are going to track whatever the value that is existing in the inventory the same value to be recognized as cogs that is cost of goods sold we discuss when we discuss order management i will tell you what is cost of goods sold what is revenue what is sales what is profit on what is profit and what is loss and what are what are the profit and loss accounts you should be aware of all the finance it's very important otherwise you can't claim your experience experienced guy should have financial knowledge if you are already a commerce guy it's very helpful you will easily understand if you are not understanding there is no other ways you have to buy it you have to remember so that is the reason i am creating a file simply let us discuss procure to pay 
I am discussing procure to pay, right? Procure to pay. P2P cycle. For P2P cycle, we have first one is requisition. A requisition, you should have charge account, right? That charge account is coming from where? If I have the item, find the item, you have already find the found the item. Now go to purchasing, you have expense account. Have you remembered this? So how you are getting the account getting defaulted in the charge account while creating the requisition in the distributions the moment you save the record. When you save the record, this account is getting defaulted based on the item. Simple for this particular organization. If it is another organization, another combination will be there. This account is nothing but combination of different segments. What is the company? What is the department? What is the account number? What is the product class? What is the intercompany? What is future? Combination of all the segments forming one number. I told you yesterday, I gave the example of phone number. Right? Each segment is an entity. Your phone number, first four digits, 0091, went for country. Four zero next two digits, indicate city. And next customer ID next next it is account number to be tracked all together which is forming one number is nothing but chart of account so what is the chart of account that is getting defaulted in the distribution so that is the account is the expense account when you receive this item that is nothing but destination account we call it as destination account we have charge account or expense account whatever it may be the same Sometimes it is getting defaulted from items. Sometimes it is getting defaulted from the one who is raising a requisition. An employee is raising a requisition. Who is the preparer? The preparer, if you open the employee master of that particular employee, I will show you. If you go to HRMS, okay? Enter and maintain. So let me open my employee. So let us see what is the expense account. If it is not there, it will not be defaulted. If it is there, when you are following based on the preparer, then definitely it will be defaulted. How the account is getting defaulted? There is a workflow. There is an accounting generator. Okay. Account generator is there. It is subledger accounting concept. Subledger account. What is subledger accounting? Earlier it was general general ledger and we have accounting. Whereas we have subledger accounting from release 12. See here I will enter my name. Go to assignments. Then we have purchasing tab here. Purchase order information. This is the expense account. Which ledger and which expense account? Here you are going to select the expense account. In case in the item master also you have expense account. If you have employee master and if you open the employee master, you have expense account in the employee master. It is very simple. Which account is getting defaulted? That is from account generator. If account generator is referring to item master, item sorry i organization item expense account then that account will be defaulted if your account generator referring to employee expense then this account will be defaulted another one is subledger accounting we are creating based on the item category when the item if you have item category if you open your item if you go to tools item item categories based on the item category when this category and this account has to be defaulted that is what subledger accounting is suggesting how it is suggesting there is a work there is a workflow when you go for subledger accounting there is a workflow which would generate the account when you create the purchase requisition and the distributions you are not entering the moment you save the record you click on the field that the account is getting getting defaulted right so you have to remember this very important question so you create a requisition how the account is getting defaulted it is from either item or from employee expense account. If you have subledger accounting, there is an accounting rule. 
there is an account generator there is a workflow assigned to account generator based on that we are getting the account getting defaulted okay now move on requisition we discussed what is charge account charge account is destination account finally when you receive the item that should hit to that particular account simple you are requisition you are raising that means you are getting the item right through requisition you are getting the item that means requisition is a source of supply okay if you prepare a requisition that means you are getting an item simple that means this is called supply we have two types one is supply the opposite is demand what is demand if somebody approaches for an item that is called demand who approaches customer when customer approaches for an item for an item then you are going to sell the item right that means when you have the sales order that is called demand when you represent some item quantity in sales order that quantity under demand when you represent one item having some quantity in requisition that is called supply when you have supply and demand if demand is more you have to produce if supply is more you are going to have inventory cost why if you have supply more more than required you want really 100 but you got 1000 for keeping 1000 items you should take another warehouse right another building for rent for lease to keep the item that means when you go for more quantity more in more inventory then you are going to increase the inventory cost what is inventory expense inventory expense means you have to take another building for a lease that means it is going to increase your lease so when you create requisition you are indicating distribution account what is that account what is the purpose of that account that account you are indicating as a destination account it is called as charge account or destination account or distribution account three names interviewer asks what is charge account you have to answer what is distribution account you have to answer what is expense account the same answer now what is the purpose of that account you are giving you are giving that account a destination account means what finally when you receive this item that should hit to this particular item finally you are receiving means you are increasing inventory right that means you are increasing inventory that account inventory account where it is inventory account that is nothing but destination account final destination account item is coming to our warehouse finally sitting into which account that charge account or destination account or distribution account what is that account that is nothing but debit account right positive account right that means it is requisition we have no entries there's no transaction you are creating a requisition but we are suggesting requisition while creating requisition you are suggesting charge account or destination account or distribution account okay that but you are not having any effectivity like nothing it is simply there is no entry there is no credit and debit but simply you are giving which account to be defaulted right so simply you are giving an account but what is this okay fine here you are giving an account but are you having any debit or credit are you receiving by requisition by raising a requisition you are not getting any item into inventory at the same time you are not giving out of inventory so there is no debit there is no credit while creating a requisition simply you are giving a suggestion when i receive this item finally it has to be kept in this particular account that is debit account okay that you remember request for quotation is also document the same thing right the same thing it is also request for quotation but there is no accounting entry you are not receiving anything simply you are creating a document quotation are you having anything nothing so simply you are creating a document right so there is no accounting entry now purchase order have you remember purchase order how do, how did you prepare purchase order simply you have auto created from requisition right 
okay you have 10 requisitions can be supplied by one supplier then are you going to have 10 10 purchase orders from supplier supplier is same why should we have multiple supplier multiple purchase orders requisition can be 10 because how many people have raised 10 people have raised 10 people from different branches purchasing from purchasing at operating unit level requisition can be prepared by anybody from any organization that means what i can consolidate all the requirements and i can create one po one purchase order when i create one po each requisition is having different 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 distribution accounts right each requisition if you go to distribution there are some different accounts right then how can i segregate those accounts that is the reason when you purchase we have the line quantity is 100 if you want 10 items at one branch 10 items at another branch you should have two shipments right we have seen that multiple shipments for one purchase order line when you have two shipments that means two shipments are coming from where requisition only so how many requisitions are there those many shipments will be there why because each requisition came from each branch let us say different branches so your shipment each shipment meant for each organization when each shipment meant for each organization each branch that organization after receiving that item into that particular organization that item quantity will be expensed out by different employees or one employee if it is one employee one distribution account 10 employees 10 different accounts will be there in the distribution that is the reason Purchase order line can be one, but shipment can be multiple. Shipment can be one, but multiple distributions might be there. What is the reason? The reason is very simple. If I buy 10 laptops, one person do not require 10 laptops. What does it mean? I am giving each laptop to one person. How many people? So what is, who is the person? That person expense account, you have to get it right one laptop meant for one person means that account should have one laptop value i have to keep a track that is the reason we will have multiple distributions for one shipment i can deliver the 10 items to one company one branch but branch will be having multiple employees but each laptop will be given to one employee then that employee expense account is different so 10 accounts will be coming that's what distribution that is the reason purchasing will be called as purchasing module is called as distribution module now when you have purchase order similar to requisition you mentioned distribution account only right you copied from the requisition you have create auto created or you have 10 patch 10 purchase requisitions from was first requisition you converted to purchase order then remaining requisition you have added to how to auto create while creating you have add to function right what is that have you remember or forgot let me show you when you go for auto create when you create auto create like you go for auto create it is asking right simply when you enter some requisition number here after requisition number let us say where is PR some requisition you have to enter So if you have some requisition definitely you can enter and after that you have seen that add to function right so that's what i'm talking about when you add to that means you are adding to same purchase order that means this requisition is having different account the another requisition will be having another account but you are adding to same purchase order means distribution should show different accounts right that is called distributions okay then coming to here that means here also you are you are entering simply the copied requisition like what from which requisition you have copied the same distribution account will be copied here right it is charge account or destination account or 
distribution account simply are entering the account now receipt now it's very important you are receiving from home supplier after receiving you are going to deliver to inventory you made a receipt does it mean that you received the item no simply you are creating a document a proof of receiving transaction against which you can pay the amount to supplier when i receive the item you have to make a receipt a receipt is a document when you make a receipt against that receipt you are delivering delivering the item to inventory that means the moment you made a receipt okay you are going to receive this item somewhere debit should go the same value should go to credit also but which account see i told you in transit right when i make a receipt I can say it is in transit. What is in transit is about to be received. So in transit account is nothing but receiving account. Means whatever the value is there in one particular account that is about to be received. So what is the worth of items that we are going to receive by today? By today there is an account which is receiving account having worth of ten thousand rupees. Ten thousand dollars. That means ten thousand worth of items you are about to receive, but you have not received. When you received, that might have gone from receiving. But before receiving, before delivering to inventory, before keeping the item into the store, I am tracking somewhere that intermediate account, that is in transit account, that is receiving account. What is the value by today you have? You are about to receive by today or tomorrow. When you receive really. item has been received to your store when you kept the item in the store that moment the value might have disappeared from receiving when receiving account is zero that means above we are nothing to receive so we are tracking that the moment you make a receipt you are about to receive the item but you have not received right so where you are keeping that so what are the value is there in one particular account that means when you put it right when you debit it right when you increase the value of that particular account that means positive should go to receiving right or in transit in transit account or what is that it can be transit account or receiving account or what else i told you three names did i say receiving account and in transit account okay that's it that's what we call it as so you are debiting here but at the same time same value should be credited somewhere where is the credit when you are making a receipt you are putting the value in the receiving account in transit account at the same time You are indicating something because I am receiving from supplier. I am putting the value in receiving. I am about to receive. When you really receive that much, you have to you have to pay, right? So how much is the due to what supplier? That is what we call it as AP accrual account. If you don't know this name, you have to remember. There is no options. There is no option. Okay. you should remember this what is ap accrual account payables accrual account what is the purpose of accrual account whatever the amount you want to pay to the supplier that amount should be kept in account that is ap accrual account simple when you are about to receive the item that value should be debited to receiving account the similar way when you are receiving some value into receiving account at the same time you have to maintain the negative value in the ap accrual account which is indicating due towards supplier in negative sign now debit and credit it with same value happened over next one receiving transaction it did i told you right destination type is inventory 
and another another type is receiving when it is receiving it's what you did when it is delivery okay when it is receiving transaction when you make a delivery to store that means you are checking and you are entering the sub inventory and locate how much quantity you are going to deliver to the inventory that's what is called receiving transaction by performing a delivery to the sub inventory of one particular item or some items right when you are delivering to inventory what is the destination account that account you gave in the purchase order distributions ah uh, that has come from requisition copied to purchase order from purchase order what item you received delivered to inventory okay that means inventory is getting increased right means destination account what is destination this destination is nothing but inventory material account or expense account charge destination distribution or you can say expense account or inventory material account inventory material account that's it similarly similar to this right now receipt done we have in transit account and ap accrual account ap accrual account is indicating negative due to what supplier in transit we are about to receive how much value how much worth of items you are going to receive that is maintained in receiving in transit when you are receiving really deliver to inventory means a destination what is the destination account that you entered in the purchase order distributions that's it when you really receive that's it this is called anything that is charge account or destination account whatever it sorry that's what you are entering here right simple okay that's good item has been delivered to final destination but this value has come from where earlier before this earlier the value was there at this right from here to here it has it has decreased from here and increased here right that means this might have got some negative impact so the same thing is coming here means negative sign so that these two accounts nullified this account has been nullified zero the same value so yeah, i deposited 10000 in your account and you transfer 10000 to another account then what happened the 10000 becomes zero simple earlier when you made a receipt debit was there value was there in receiving account now you are putting into inventory or charge account or expense account distribution account or inventory material account so it might have got negative effect so you put it negative that's it over now i am invoicing invoice means what you go to any merchant okay that means you go to some vendor you buy something you are buying a laptop that buyer just sorry that supplier is giving an invoice right he has given invoice does it mean that we pay it no against invoice you have to pay right that means you are creating an invoice means what how much you are going to pay that is indicated in invoice when you create invoice there is a due amount you have maintained in ap accrual account right negative right so this negative value when you really invoice the negative due towards supplier is moving you have to when you invoice means you are going to recognize you are going to you are not now going to maintain the due amount in supply that means what is the due amount is there in the ap accrual account it is having a negative sign that should be zero right when you raise invoice that means you are about to pay when you are about to pay why should we maintain due towards supply you should not right so 
here negative so debit to ap accrual account that's it so i have to nullify that account right so it is negative effect so let us put in positive so that the value became zero these two nullified so invoice when I invoice you are about to pay so why should i maintain the due in the accrual accrual account so i nullified that by having positive impact to that account so i deposit like i deposit the amount into that account that's it over when you are having debit there should be credit also right so where you are putting you are removing from accrual that's fine due towards supplier but you are putting in payables how much i have to pay that is called payables Payable account, payable account, we can say. Okay. You made an invoice. Does it mean that is, does it mean that you paid? No. You are about to pay. You are about to pay. When you are about to pay, I am not maintaining due. So I debited the accrual account. When I am about to pay, that means I am putting the value from accrual account to payables. That means the negative effect has gone to payable. So AP accrual account has got the positive value. It has got no zero value in AP accrual account. I am not having any due towards supplier, but the value, the amount that, that has been deposited in payable account from where supplier will take. Okay, so payable account you put. After invoice, what you make? Invoice, you are not making payment. That means after the invoice, you have to make a payment. So you bought the laptop, supplier gave the invoice. After seeing the invoice, you are making payment, right? When you make a payment, supplier is making a receipt, right? But I'm not maintaining supplier system. I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I'm tracking in my system. What I'm going to do, I'm making payment. That's it. Payment, next transaction is payment. When I make a payment, payable should have zero value, right? So it is having a negative. So debit here, that's it. Okay. Credit bank. Finally, from where you are getting the amount? Bank. That's it. Have you understood? It's very important. We have the process requisition to payment. Actually, AP invoice and payment that happens in AP module. But whatever you are going to do in purchasing module, you should be aware of all these accounting entries. You should understand what is debit and credit. In Oracle notations like we have positive and negative, positive for debit, negative for credit. Credit. We have the process of requisition, RFQ, quotation, purchase order, receiving, receipt. Then invoice payment. At each transaction, there is an accounting entry. What is that accounting entry? This is what. Right? That's it. Like, you have any 